it's finally happening guys the bitcoin dominance is dropping while bitcoin is going sideways or even higher and that is the exact reason why i told you yesterday today is the day where we have to talk about positioning ourselves for this altcoin run that is starting either by today or already by tomorrow and if you think that is interesting then definitely stick around here make sure that you're subscribed to the channel like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important entries and potential targets that i'm giving you in this episode and now let's get and dive directly into the charts today here so here on the bitcoin dominance you know we can clearly see that uh, two days ago we came up to this massive resistance area for the bitcoin dominance that starts from 46.9 percent all the way up to 48.45 or 44 percent uh, depending on how you draw this and then the second candle yesterday did not get close to it and today we start seeing a rejection and that is of course really really good for most of the altcoins out there also on the stochastic rsi we see um exhaustion because we are here in um, overbought territory and also the rsi is starting to point down which is also showing that the bitcoin dominance is losing momentum to the downside so i believe when the bitcoin dominance is coming down now that around 44 percent we will struggle a little bit to break through that um until 42.4 yeah 42.4 percent and once we're breaking through that I can guarantee you guys we will see altcoins doing double digits on a single day and that will be for most of the altcoins out there which is absolutely crazy also when we go to the market uh, total market cap excluding bitcoin we see here right now a small pump um when i started recording it was at 600 billion dollars it was already at 602 no 600 and let me see 604 so and now it's at 601.50 billion and i uh, we are here in this resistance area from 591 all the way up to 620 and uh, when we're seeing here that 620 is broken then we will uh, again also see a massive rally in all the altcoins and we until we go here all the way up to 815 billion dollars so there's 200 billion dollars um flushing into the market in my opinion over the next two weeks and that will give us insane uh, profits on most of the altcoins so now let's talk really quick about bitcoin because bitcoin is pumping right now here in our resistance area from 26,650 all the way up to 29,072 dollars um here on the daily i also see exhaustion uh that could mean that bitcoin either will start trading sideways or we will see a final push to the upside to this resistance up here before we then see a massive rejection all the way back to around twenty-five thousand dollars so but if we go into the lower time frames there we see right now that bitcoin is breaking out out of that uh a bull flag or pennant whatever you want to call it i was waiting for this and i missed it because i started recording this video to take a position here so but if we um, say it's a bull flag or a pennant it doesn't matter the target is more or less the same then the target is around thirty thousand seven hundred and ninety four dollars so that would mean that we potentially see a massive run here to the upside and then uh, bull trap territory in my opinion if we break 29 everything above that in my opinion is bull trap territory as of now and then we come really quick back down to like twenty five thousand dollars so uh because i think there uh, we will see a massive projection when we get into these regions um all the way up there but for now bitcoin is pumping because on a stochastic rsi we were exhausted in selling so bitcoin was more or less just trading sideways and then we saw now this breakout here so once this candle is closing wait for the close guys also look on the one hourly chart for that you want to see at least the one hourly close above this downward sloping resistance line here so if we get a close above that so you want that bitcoin stays above twenty seven thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars here on bybit on some other exchanges uh, the price may uh, vary a little bit but the pattern is the same so just make sure that uh, it closes above that line before you enter here a long position because what i see here on the one hourly chart is that we might get a nice push here to the upside to this resistance again at twenty seven thousand six hundred seven hundred dollars 
And then on the one hourly, we are exhausted again. So we come back down to like 27,300 and then potentially go sideways. And then we see that push to the upside because the smaller time frames they still need to cool down a little bit before we can see here a massive, massive pump to the upside, in my opinion. And that goes from the 5, 15, 30 minute time frame, one hourly time frame. Um, and then the four hourly can do its thing and push the price to the upside. So now before I get into the altcoins, guys, don't forget that you can still get $30,000 absolutely for free. If you want to trade on Bybit, there you can trade Bitcoin and altcoins, no problem at all with my specific link here, or you do it on BitGet, there you still get $20,000 with my uh, link down here. The link is in the pin coin below and in the description of this video. So, um, and of course, if you want some alpha, then also follow me here on Twitter. My Twitter handle and only Twitter handle is AM Crypto Alex. That's the only Twitter handle that I have. Uh, you also find my Twitter handle in the description below, or if you go to the uh, channel info, there's also a tab to um, my Twitter. So now let's talk about altcoins, uh, because I know you guys uh, were definitely, definitely uh, waiting for that, that we talk here about some amazing altcoin moves. So here we are on Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, went here all the way up from 1,280, 1,360, uh, that was prior resistance, moved here all the way up to 1,675. Then we saw a retest of that region, which is really, really healthy. And then another push here to the upside in uh, the last week. And now uh, Ethereum was facing this resistance area yesterday at $1,855 all the way up to $2,017. Uh, here on the daily chart, we also see exhaustion, but on the four hourly chart, we have now some room to move here to the upside over the next coming hours. So don't nail me to it, but based on the four hourly chart, we could see a push all the way up to this resistance here, in my opinion, uh, but then get rejected, come back down, go sideways and then continue to go upwards here um, by end of next week, um, early uh, the following week. So and um, we should definitely take some profits if you're in a trade already, take some profits there. And if you're looking for an entry, wait that the, bit, uh, that the Ethereum price comes back at least to 1,673 or uh, 1,577. You are not too late. I believe there uh, will be a correction here now at some point where we come back down here into this level um around here there you can load up again and then trade this all the way to the upside so if we get now of course a crazy move here to the upside above that resistance area then this area will become your buy zone and up here this will become your sell zone so this sell zone goes from 22,600 um well 2,265 all the way up to 2,400 and fifty dollars so all the way up here we want to sell for the time being uh because then we would face again if we would break through this we would get close to three thousand dollars as the next resistance and over the next coming weeks i don't see this happening um but uh as we go i'm gonna update you on how we are doing here i actually gonna uh go and create um a buy bit uh altcoin basket where we can track from today onwards, all the coins that we are going through. So definitely check out um, my uh, Bybit um, portfolio. I will uh, make a new portfolio, call it YouTube AM Crypto, and there are all these coins in there so we can keep track of them. Now, let's talk about Gala. So Gala, what I want to show you here is, every time when we have here a massive downward sloping resistance line, Gala is going absolutely crazy afterwards to the upside. So when we are just looking at, uh, on this prior move here, after we broke uh, the downward sloping resistance line, Gala went up 225% almost. So, and now we had here another downward sloping resistance line forming, and now we see here another run to the upside. So I'm not saying that this must be a 200% move again to the upside, because it would put it at 12 cents. I don't believe that. So, but almost a 100% move here to 7 cents point three, that might be in the in, in the cards. So, and that would be still a 53.5% move here to the upside over the next coming weeks. So, if you are not in Gala yet, then um, 
a potential zone where you can load up would be more or less here, my buy zone right now. So that goes from um, 4 cents 0.4 all the way up to 4, point, uh, 4 cents and 9. So that is the area where I would buy, but I would wait a couple of days because it, we could see a breakthrough through this, um, through this zone over the next two days. So wait here, be patient guys, wait here and let's see what's happening here because um, the 4 cents and 9 resist um, area is also a key resistance here right now because you can see that here, there, here, here and then quite a bit here, here. So you see how many touch points we have here. So that is a really, really crucial uh, resistance area right now that was prior support and that's why we should wait if we break through that with a crazy candle to the upside with a lot of volume in it um, and then the this zone becomes then of course uh, your dip zone where we're going to load up on the way up uh, but let's wait a couple of days to see if we can stay within that zone or if we break lower so and if we would break lower i was going to show you where i would be buying then i would be buying then just a little bit lower here in uh, this zone just let's make it a little bit smaller here from four uh, from three cents point eight uh, to four cents that would be then the other buy zone uh, that i would be looking at and that will of course then give us also a bigger profit if it would go all the way to the bottom of 90 percent so be patient here for a couple of days uh, don't do here anything yet um and let's see how this is going to play out because potentially we can make here uh, between 50 and 90 percent over the next coming weeks so let's talk about mana mana similar situation to um, gala also here all these gaming coins they go absolutely yeah they go just absolutely insane uh, on a rampage once they're breaking here these levels so also here the last run uh, and that was quite quickly so that was from the 6th of january to um yeah that took a month for 157 uh, yeah, almost 58 percent um yeah amazing returns here if you would have caught that so now we have a, another downward sloping resistance line that we have already broken so and here again same it's the same game that we are playing so if we can stay here in that support box um which we are fighting now with if we can manage to stay within that uh, then that will become our buy zone but it doesn't look like that that uh, that will be our buy zone so if that um if Ga if mana is turning around here to the downside then all the way down here that becomes our buy zone and this will give us uh, 53 to 58 percent over the next uh, coming weeks here so this goes from 52 cents 0.8 54 uh, cents 0.7 so um if we see a uh, correction uh, coming so and if we don't and this becomes our support box all the way here then it's from uh, 63.6 cents all the way up to 65.7 cents that's in our buy zone um, where we trade this then to the upside then link so link also here, I believe we're going to see a correction. Uh, so then the 0 0.618, the golden ratio, that will become our buy zone. Um, and also the 0 0.5, that is also a buy zone. So on these both levels, we can accumulate for the next leg to the upside. Uh, because I think the 0 0.382 is right now our resistance. We have now twice, three times tested that in the last week and got always rejected from there. So now, of course, again, because of the four hourly chart, we see here a slight pump to the upside. Uh, but that might also result in the next two days um, to another rejection. And then we will come down and then uh, we can load up on this. So and here my cell zones, uh, it's for once here the top the uh, $8.27 so and if if you want to take it a little bit further then around here eight $8.71 would be the next level where I would be looking at to take some profits then uh, DYDX 
Oh, come on, load the chart. So here, yeah, so it's it just happened. Insane. Insane. Oh, guys, I just realized something. Uh, in I oh, know that's that's today's candle, so it went maybe there. Um, not earlier. I have to check quick because I was here in a trade. No, that happened earlier. That happened earlier. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I thought uh, I missed by a cent my uh, scalp target that I have here because I'm trading this right now. Um, so, but it's fine. So here, you can already see we have two downward sloping lines here. We have this downward sloping resistance. And then we have this downward sloping resistance, which is going down in a steeper angle. So and you see we had here today and yesterday a harsh resistance from this downward sloping resistance line here. Um, but also here we could maybe see a retest uh, by today of that level. I still don't believe that we're going to break through that and smash it through that. Uh, but this will give us an opportunity to accumulate here again at $2.53 when it comes down, in my opinion. So you see also here is um, a triangle shaping, uh, a descending a triangle. Yeah, a descending triangle. So we might still bounce it up and down a little bit. So that will give you ample time uh, to buy here at lower levels, especially here at that support. Um, that was prior resistance. Uh, so and since here that whole area it uh, became support, we got a fake out and then came back up here. So this should be support again. So here that support at two dollars and um, fifty two that should be a good buy in my opinion. And then we can trade this up here into this resistance block of three dollar thirty two all the way up to four dollars. So and if we load up there, so this is another fifty nine percent more or less uh, for the next coming weeks uh, that we can book here. And of course, guys, don't forget uh, to take profits here. I would maybe also, um, when we come back down to $2.53, take initial profits like 10% or something here and also here at these levels and move my stop loss up so that uh, you are definitely walking away with some profits. Then KSM, on KSM, I see here right now an Elliott wave count that is playing out. So, and let me move this up here a little bit. I think I did this on a four hourly chart. So we can, yeah, so we, I did this on a four hourly chart. Here again, downward sloping resistance line got broken here um, on Monday this week. And since then we are moving here to the upside. So in my opinion, we are here right now in the third wave count. So you see the stochastic is going down. So we should definitely see another leg to the upside. Um, and when we're looking price wise, oh, shit that's the wrong one i need this one so we can make here if you would get in now still almost 96 percent from where the price is now so but also here on the daily it looks um overextended so we might come back into this um a dip zone here of 31 dollar and 55 cents all the way up to 34 dollars almost so wait for the dip to load up here when we get into this zone and then we continue to trade this to the upside. Of course, if we now come back into the zone, it will invalidate the two here. Um, and then we have to reassess uh, if there is some sort of an Elliott wave count. So because if that is happening, it's not an Elliott wave count anymore. So uh, if if we push here further to the upside, then um, 33 dollars and no yeah 37 dollars point seven and 40 dollars 35 that could potentially then become our buy zone here on the four count on the elliott wave when we come back down before we see then the fifth leg to the upside so if that would be happening let's say we get into here then it's still 81 percent on the higher end and on the low end it would be still 40 percent that we can do here on ksm so then when we go to BNB, &B, uh, too bad. Uh, I have another chart where I had BNB &B on, but um, it's okay. I can do it here on, on the fly. So we are running here right now into massive resistance at $336.70. So you can clearly see that uh, because here it was support. It got retested as support, retest, retest. We broke it, uh, confirmed it here. Again, resistance, fake out, resistance, and until now, it's still resistance. We are slightly above it, um, 
almost so but it's still resistance right now so if we break above that then i would be looking for a target first initial target uh all the way up here somewhere let me see how this is looking yeah here at 403 dollars and then you can take that of course even higher uh, my next target would be done here all the way up here somewhere at 491 dollars so that would be uh, my profit taking area so if you want to still load up on that also here um the next zone that i would be looking at at buying is between 304 all the way up to 320 dollars in that zone i would be accumulating for this move here to the upside uh i think did we go over comp no we did not go over comp so also here comp elliot wave count in in my opinion um, I also believe that we will see uh, some sort of correction. If we dip back down here, this becomes your buy zone. If we break further to the upside, um, then this here will become your uh, buy zone. Uh, but other, otherwise, this, um, if we first go down here, then this here is, of course, a sell zone. So be careful, keep track of that. Don't uh, start confusing that. So here our buy zone would be from uh, $36 all the way up to $40.65. And our sell zone starts at $47.08 uh, and, and $50.55. And then the second sell zone at $59.50 all the way up to $64.35. So if we would get back here into this zone, most likely we will dip only until close to $40. But that still will give us a 61% profit more or less once we are coming back down there. So and if I'm correct here with my Elliott wave count, um, then over the next two months, it could go even higher to potentially uh, 253% um, if that Elliott wave count is correct. But for now, it looks correct because we had our one, we had our two, and now we are on the third leg to the upside. So let's quick talk about Ava and eGold, and then uh, we're gonna stop here for today. Uh, so we are right now sitting on top of our buy zone, but I think we will come lower here into our buy zone again, so which will give you again a good opportunity to DCA here into uh, Avi. So it could go as low as $73.50, um, uh, which is um, it's like 8% to the downside, which is absolutely fine. So, and then when we go to the upside, so here we can make initially a quick 30%. And if it would go all the way up here to that prior high here, let's say conservatively all the way up to $112.50, uh, 53% uh, that we can make here on Avi if we would smash through this resistance block here. So then really quick, eGold. eGold, uh, we are looking now so we are here right now also in our massive uh, buy zone here. I actually have to make this a little bit smaller. Something like this. Yeah. So here potential return 50%. Uh, here in this zone, um, you can still accumulate. So I, you see I have here um, two lines drawn support and resistance right now uh, with within here you can see it so as long as we keep bouncing here up and down over let's say for the next two days then uh, that would confirm that you should buy there uh, if it goes lower and it breaks down from it then here 41 dollars uh, will be uh, will be the price where i would be buying um, and that of course will increase your returns so and then we're talking about almost 60 percent here when we move to the upside to 65 dollars over the next coming weeks Guys, uh, let me know in the comments which altcoins are you buying based on what I have shown you. I'm really curious what you are buying here. And just make sure that you buy on the right levels. Don't uh, pull the trigger too fast. We have to be careful here because, like I said, over the next two days, I think that we're going to see some sort of a small correction first before we see um, all the altcoins going absolutely stupid. Um, please make sure that you don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again tomorrow.